Bryn is ready to take a hike through the infamous Aokiyahara Forest in Mount Fuji, Japan. It isn't long before he finds a dark and foreboding entrance. He's not very far inside when he comes across an abandoned bike. Laying on the seat is the open packaging for a kitchen knife. Sadly, it is clear that this person came here with one clear purpose. A short while later, he comes across a bag that is empty except for a note. He tries to read the Japanese writing and comes up short. It says 12-11. I can't quite make out. I think this is somebody's name just here. And I'm not sure what this means. If you can read the message, then please share what it says with me so that we'll know once and for all. As soon as he's finished reading, a crow caws directly overhead. Later. It's an ominous sign for sure, so Bryn decides to get out of there before anything bad happens. A perfectly normal eyeball is about to almost pop, and you'll never guess how. Don't try this. Ronnie Taslim pulls his lower lid as far down as it will go. His eye turns a nasty shade of red as he looks up and with three fingers slowly presses the lower section out of the socket. With his eyeball bulging halfway out, he rolls his upper lip back like a shirt sleeve to reveal the full eye and you'll never guess what happens from there. The entire eye is an angry red at this point, but instead of bursting and rolling down his cheek like I thought it would, the eye somehow turns normal looking again at 1 minute and 40 seconds. Ronnie is somehow able to alleviate the intense pressure, causing his eye to fill with red fluid and stuffs it back into its socket before any lasting damage is done. My question aside from how he is able to do this to begin with is how many more times does he have left before his poor eye gives out and gushes all over the camera? Would you dare to step foot in a house where someone's life was taken? The YouTube team from the new reality Paranormal are investigating this cabin buried deep in the woods. When they first ask the spirits a question through the spirit box, they get a quick response. Is there a man here? You, I think we heard you. What did it say? It said here. It said here. Here now? It's yeah. on? The spirits then tell the guys what they need. Please help. That's, That's what it said. It said, it said, please, it said help. please help. The team also discovers that the spirit passed away in a strange way. How did you die? Did he say cat? Did he say cat? It <laughs> said cat. It said cat. <laughs> Was a cat really the culprit? As they're waiting for more communication in one room, they get some REM pod action in another. Thank you. Then the cat ball goes off elsewhere. Alright, we're back on three, two, one. Oh, the cat ball! Oh, the cat! I got it. Cat ball's going off and. and the. and the REM pod at the same time. Is the spirit trying to warn them about the cat that took his life? It sure seems like it. I have chills right now, bro. It's going off again, bro. Hi. I'm looking right at it, dude. Oh my god. They ask, and they get a direct answer. Are you a cat? If you're a cat, can you touch that? There it is. Look at it. Oh my god. As the cat ball continues to go off, they hear a disembodied voice. Please tell me you heard that. Please tell me. It was, me a, it was, a, it was a voice, dude. When they do the Estes method, they're given this ominous message. So, my soul. They later head outside, and the spirits can't keep up with them. Should they really wait for him? I don't know. The spirit could be the victim, or it could be the life taker. Either way, I don't think I'd take my chances. This video was taken in 2001 by the Mills family while hiking Marble Mountain in Maine. Their leader, Jim Mills, zooms in on what could be a humanoid watching them across a pond. Can you at us? I don't see it. Moving now. The trees? It's to the right of him. It's walking that way. Do you see? Okay. see the King's Castle? Yeah. He's dead. Kind of little. As it approaches the group, we get a better glimpse at its strange shape. 
Even from this distance, its shoulders look broad, and it has a powerful lower body with arms that come down to its knees. It does not look like a person. Its arms are way too big. Look at how long the hands hang down to the... At 6 minutes and 9 seconds, the creature seems to point at them and wave its fist. My theory is that, assuming this is real, the creature is guarding its only water source and telling them to come no closer. You may think that this creature looks somewhat small from this distance, but considering the fact that his camera is zoomed all the way in, it's actually giant, but it could also simply be CGI. If you have a sibling, then they've likely played practical jokes on you before, but what happens when the impractical is not a joke? In this video, something is seen floating on the other side of the room. As the boys grow increasingly panicked, a toy car is thrown at the younger brother, while another toy car comes flying towards the older brother, seemingly of its own accord. The video cuts out and then resumes, as the brothers are arguing with each other in Malé, perhaps blaming each other for the paranormal activity. The younger brother is being yelled at, and he screams back in anger before leaving the room. The older brother looks concerned, and when they go check on him, they find a figure standing on the toilet hanging upside down. Wait, After shouting out, one of the older brothers rushes back into the dining room, and it seems the paranormal is not over yet. A chair shoves out from under the table on its own. He grabs his phone, while the other brother attempts to restrain the child. That's where the video ends. While many in the comments are doubtful of this video's authenticity, some are all in saying this is real. Facebook user Mohammed Zaraf Amin is one of the latter, writing, All of you who comment says this is all an act. Just be careful if he wants to disturb you. We have to believe this smooth creature exists. I guess if we don't believe, we are more vulnerable. From voices to semi-transparent figures, Baby monitors have been known to throw off all types of creepy vibes. This is amongst the creepiest. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, the OP writes, I'm 96% sure we caught a ghost on camera, pulling on my almost two-year-old son's leg while he was sleeping in his crib. The scary video shows the baby lying face down in his crib, both of his legs tucked near the bars. At first, the baby's left leg looks like it's being repeatedly pulled toward and even through the bars, but this could just be the baby himself sticking his feet there. But then all of a sudden, the baby's leg is lifted upwards, beyond the scope of ordinary baby abilities. It folds and is even bent at the knee and pulled backward. The leg is then extended out, then yanks behind its other leg and pulled between the bars. It's pulled upwards and back again, bent at the knee. This is done repeatedly until the leg is yanked so far backward that it seems to wake the baby up. He throws his head back and then pulls both legs beneath him. All the while, a strange white orb roams across the screen, floating above him. Some in the comments even say it seems to move in sync with the pulling of the leg. Most Redditors are terrified in the comments. Others think the ghost may have been trying to flip the baby over, so he wasn't sleeping on his stomach. But myself and nearly everyone agrees with Redditor Malin who writes, Straight up the most convincing ghost video I've ever seen. Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. I swear it's in it. Just go to bed. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost, except for one thing. 
There are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest. But the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person. And there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. This Colombian video from 2008 is apparently the last footage taken by four men that disappeared, found inside an abandoned car. The footage shows the men driving towards a strange person dressed in all white, possibly a wedding dress. They slowly approach the person and attempt to drive around them, and that's where the video ends. What happens next is a complete mystery, since this was the only footage found. Skeptics have been unable to debunk this video or find the whereabouts of the disappeared men that were mentioned. It appears whoever was standing on the road that night will remain a mystery. Jake Atafi is in his living room when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. The ancient Ram Inn in England's Watton Under Edge is infamous for its devil worship and ritual sacrifice. YouTube team Ghost Raiders dives in to see if they can uncover any of this residual dark magic. Using paranormal devices, they try and get the spirits to communicate with them. You make the K2 reader go off. Oh. We've got a cat ball going off. The spirit seems to be playing around. In another stony room of the inn, there appears to be a demon face escaping the stone. There. There is a face, or what looks like a face, but it is just obviously how the bricks and soot, I would imagine, have sorted up the wall, but yeah, it just looked like a face. It makes you wonder how such a face formed. Later, while using the Estes method, Holly feels unsettled. Feel on the mask. Like pressure around my, that physically being moved. During a ritual ceremony to free her from her demon, she becomes overwhelmed with emotion. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me that a spirit somehow entered Holly through the Estes method, only to be released through this ritual, and the feeling and release of the incident looks incredibly painful. There's nothing more haunted than something that moves of its own accord, except maybe when it jolts aggressively of its own accord. Submitted to Reddit by Nick4566, this swing in India is not child's play. Nick writes, This was seen in a well-known city of India. The park is closed since a year as a lady took her own life here long back, and the park is not used by children. Watch the swing at the beginning of the clip flinging back and forth on its own. It's a bit unnerving already, but as some in the comments point out, someone might have pushed it before the person began filming. You probably thought that yourself, but watch further. The swing slows halfway through the video only to suddenly jolt back to life. <laughs> Flinging aggressively back and forth, the leaves in the surrounding trees are barely fluttering, so none of this could be due to wind or nature. It's completely supernatural. Could the spirit of the woman who took her life still be here? And why is she swinging? We may never know. 
On occasion, don't believe what you see. Sometimes your eyes really can deceive you. TikToker Rebecca explains that a previous video that appeared to show a child at the window in this haunted mansion was actually just a prop. TikTokers urged Rebecca to call the authorities, saying it looked like this individual was being held captive. But when Rebecca zooms in on the window in question, the head is clearly that of a mannequin. Some still find the catch extremely jarring. Cat writes, You zoomed in and my heart just stopped. Some thank Rebecca for giving viewers closure, while others say it's even scarier knowing it's a mannequin. Real or not, whoever placed this thing here has a dark sense of humor. Is my house haunted? Writes a user named BB5432 on the haunted subreddit. This paranormal video of their place was caught on a neighbor's doorbell cam across the street who later showed it to her out of concern. It doesn't look like much at first, but there's actually a lot of creepy things going on in this video that you might not see. But first, let's start with the basics. The Reddit poster claims her house was completely dark when these mysterious, unexplained lights started flashing all around the door. The television in the living room was not on, she says, and even if it were on, it's facing the opposite way at an angle that would not create this effect at all. Whether or not to believe her is up to you. I do because the flashing seems too bright for a television and takes up the whole window at times. Nobody would watch a television screen that bright because it would undoubtedly hurt to look at for that long. And at 25 seconds, the creepy light grows even brighter and does not subside until the video ends. BB5432 later posted, she has no further reason to think their house is haunted, but still struggles to explain what this was if not a ghost. She adds the same thing happened to her years ago. The same neighbor showing her and her husband lights in their door, and nobody could figure it out then either. Someone said they should check the electrical wiring in that room, which I agree is a good move. But other than that, everyone else says this is super weird and even she has to admit she's creeped out. There's also one more weird thing that I wasn't even going to mention except she saw it too. A shadow figure in the doorway. You can see it whenever the lights go down, but it's probably most apparent at 4 seconds. I took a still image and zoomed in. Here it is with no special effects whatsoever. The outline of a shadow figure looking out the window. Tell me if you can see it too. I'd say that house is haunted. If that's not a resident. Chris Condon and his friends go to an old mental hospital to spend the night on a dare. This location is a little different than the others on this list because it's rather well known and has become somewhat of a party area for high schoolers to hang out in. With this in mind, it's no surprise when Chris's group comes across some other random people who want to join. By midnight, the group is pretty large and everyone seems to be getting along well. They set up a tent and prepare to spend the night making new friends. A few hours later, they wake up to a huge blaze instead. Hey, the fire oh my God. No. Be quiet, guys. You can hear us. It's full, buddy. Full. Police are outside arresting everyone who leaves the building. So Chris and his friends stay put for a while and then barely manage to sneak away. At times, they are surrounded by pitch black and are too afraid to use their lights. They're almost caught multiple times and ultimately never return to the location again. My biggest question now is what actually caused the fire? This video from Japan raises some big questions. And the biggest of all is who is the stranger in the house with this man? This video is aptly titled, Is It Following Him? And that question really needs an answer. This homeowner, who I presume is recording after mysterious events kept happening in his home, demonstrates what happens when he turns the lights off. Did you notice the human-shaped silhouette in the room with him? And this isn't just a one-off event. Whatever this is follows him in each room he goes, and it's the same size silhouette there each time. Is this a stalker, a ghost, or both? 
Whatever the case may be, the question of is it following him can be answered, and that answer is a definite yes. I think it's time to get out of that home while there's still time. Be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel and they have English subtitles. This ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it. No one's around it. And it's actually walking down the driveway. That's the reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder on its own. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps, but nobody is near. If you have any possible explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, then this is one of the most perplexing videos I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. This strange sky sighting was caught on camera flying over Bavaria, Germany in broad daylight. I noticed some weird things about the audio, but first, try and translate this mysterious conversation from German to English if you can. I know that 9 means no, but I don't understand what was being asked. Anyway, aside from that, listen again to the weird noise that the object itself makes. I guess it kind of looks like it could be a jet plane, but the wings are too big and it really doesn't sound like one. Tell me if you think this was an experimental aircraft caught on tape or a strange sky sighting of something from another solar system. This is not a drone caught on video, but at the same time I'm curious as to what this actually is. Does this creepy doll have special powers? Published by Indra Saputra Official. In April of 2022, something certainly happens inside this haunted place. Well, the camera shows that the couch is empty. When Indra backs up, look who is sitting in the darkness alongside the doll. Indra doesn't see the ghoul and casts his camera around. When he turns back to the sofa, the figure has vanished. Later, he opens the door and looks down the hallway. Is that her again? I don't want to stick around to find out. Polar19 posted this video of her beagle in 2008. She wrote, This is my six month old beagle, Lewis, who started barking and growling at something in the kitchen, mostly focusing on the open cupboard. He has been known to wake up in the middle of the night, barking and growling at something unseen. The YouTuber says that Luis won't calm down until she lets the dog patrol the house. In the video, the dog is barking towards the pantry. He walks further into the kitchen and starts howling. Backing up again, he howls and growls at the pantry. He walks forward again, still howling, and sniffing the ground. He just keeps at it, backing up, walking forward, barking, growling and howling until the video ends. YouTube commenters note that the dog's hair is standing on end, and the guttural sounds the dog is making are usually a warning. What could he possibly seen in the darkened pantry that we don't? Whatever it is must be well hidden, as you can hear something growl back at the dog at 45 seconds into the video. So there must be something there. There's only one thing scarier than a ghost sighting. A ghost sighting you. That's what Garments One claimed to have caught on video in a churchyard in Estolt, United Kingdom. The footage opens on a shot of a church. After panning down, the distinct figure of a girl peering around the corner of the building comes into view. She quickly darts back and out of sight, and when pursued has disappeared into thin air. The shot pans back to the corner, up the building and around, but the ghost girl is nowhere in sight. Whether you're a believer in the paranormal or a skeptic, this video will make you look twice.
Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.